Hey everyone and welcome to this new video. Today we're going to be taking the most out of the components in Figma by creating extremely powerful buttons that allows you to customize everything on the right menu. For example, you can change it to secondary, hierarchy, you can make this hover, you can make it back to default, you can make the icon disappear, you can change the icon and even you can change the text right here. So you can basically customize all of your elements inside your buttons by only modifying your right menu. This is kind of an advanced Figma tutorial, so let's get into it. Okay, now we are in Figma and I have two pages. I have the pages called components where I will be working and creating the components. And I have another page called the signs where I, where I just have a frame, but I will be showing how to use these components here. So let's go to components. The first thing that we need to do, of course, is to add some text for our buttons. And for that, I'll click on T and start typing something. Let's start with download. And I will be using Poppins Semibolt 16. Feel free to use any other type of font that you like. Once I have my text, I want to put this inside an auto layout. And for that, I will use the shortcut Shift A. Now I have an auto layout called frame one. I can change these two buttons. And I want to also add some fills, of course. And um, I already have a primary color shape here is a is a linear and color because I really like buttons with linears, linear gradients. But of course, it's not completely necessary for this tutorial. And I want to make my text white. I will also add some border radius here. I will change this to 10. I will change the padding to 12 and the horizontal padding to 95. Yeah, it will be a big button. Once I have this version, I can make it a component by using the shortcut option command K, or I can also select the element and click on this icon. Once I have my, my first component, I can already add it to my design here. So for that, I can go to assets and drag and drop my, my button here, or I can also use a shortcut shift I and click on the component that I like. I will center this here. Now, when I select my component, I don't have any options to customize my component yet. So let's start working on that. Let's go to layers, components, and let's start working on the secondary button. So for that, I will select my component and click on add variant. And the variant name will be hierarchy because I will have the primary hierarchy and secondary. So let's change this to primary. And this one will be my secondary button. Second, secondary, there you go. And of course I need to customize this. I will change the fill to my secondary linear gradient that I have here. And I will change the font to a solid primary color that I have. And that, that's it, I have my secondary variant. And now when I come here to the signs, I can change this. Now I can see this hierarchy option here and I can change it to secondary right here. Now I will create another type of variant just to show you that you can have more than one type of variant in your component. So what I mean with type of variant is this one, like this one is our hierarchy. So I have primary, secondary, I can have a third option here, but I want to create a new type of variant. And for that, I click on my parent component and I go here in the plus icon, click on variant, and I will call this state. And for what I want to do here is to have a default and a hover state. So the, the, the default will be called default. So we keep it like that. And I create this variant and now where I, when I select this component, for example, this one is primary and state default and this one is secondary state default. So now let's create the hover state. I will duplicate this one. And for this, I will create a new state called hover. And I will, of course I need to edit this component. I will customize the fill. I will add a dark layer on top of it. I will make this 
40 and I have my hover state with hierarchy primary and I will do the same thing for my for my secondary and I will duplicate this I what I to duplicate I use the shortcut command D and now I want to change this to hover so I have the secondary secondary hierarchy state hover and I want to add a, the same layer on top of it let's change this to 40 but I want to change the text here because it doesn't look good with a with a dark text so I'll come here and change this to white there you go so now if I come here to designs I can change this to secondary you can also change this to hover or I can make it primary hover and we have two type of variants okay now let's start working with properties properties is something really new that Figma added like a couple of months ago in 2022 so for that first I need to look for some icons and I will be using the plugin called Iconify and I will import like around three icons to show you how you can change the icons very seamlessly inside your component so I will copy share I will look for download and I will look for an icon for send so now I have my three icons I want to make these all components remember to make these components otherwise it will not work for basically the rest of this tutorial so and also I want to change the name I will make keep this on download and I will make this share I can align this also to make it look better once I have these as components I I will make this an auto layout first so it will adapt based on the the, compo the components inside so I will copy this icon inside all of these properties or variants and I will make them wide okay I have my icons inside my my components and what I want to do now I will add a boolean property to make the icon appear or disappear so for that when you work when you're working with properties you have two options you can work with a parent component and add a property here and here you have three type of properties boolean instant swap and text we're going to be using the three of those but and, and you can also work with the with the individual elements and i prefer working with the individual elements because it's faster it's like one step shorter but I will show you both and let's start with the individual components you can use this icon here and it will automatically select similar layers so we select all the icons and here I come and I can make this layer create a boolean property so I click here and I will call this with icon and I will default to true so now when I go to designs I click on my on my component I have this property here so when I click the toggle the icon appear or disappears and I can change it to default I can change it to secondary and I will have my toggle here where I can make the icon appear or disappear as many times I want so that's the boolean property now we the ha we have three two other more properties that we can work with and let's start with text text is very simple and i will show i will use text to show you how to work with a parent component so i select the parent component and i click i click here on plus look for text i will keep it as text and the sample the default text will be sample when you create a property for the parent component you will have this warning here that you create the property but there's no element within the component that is have been assigned to this property and for that you can we need to we want to assign this text to our text property so now we need to assign assigning to our property I can use this icon again to select all my text 
and when I come here it says apply text property and I already create this property for my parent component so now you can see why I prefer to work with individual elements because basically it's one step shorter I can just create the property here instead of creating first all my all my prime component and then add it to that property here but I was, I'm showing you both options so now I, I click on that property and automatically change to my default value and now if I if I go here back to the signs I have my component selected and I have the text here and I can change the text here for my last property I can do the same thing I have the two options I can work with my parent component and then assign the individual elements or I can just select the individual elements first and I will do the later because I think is easier so the instance swap I can I will use it for the icons and that's a property that will allow me to change the icons inside my my component so I can use this sniper icon again to select all the four layers and when I come here on my right here I have create instance swap property I create this and I will call this icon and the default will be download I can select any other default that I want any of my icons and here's why I told you that you should make these icons components because if these were not components my icon my icons options will, will wouldn't be showing here so make sure to make your icons components so I will select download to make my default and now when I come here or when I when I select first my parent component I have another property here and when I come here in the signs I have this option here where I can change the icon that I want just here in my right menu so let's say I want to create a download and button so I will change this to download I will look for the download download icon I want this to be primary but I want this to be default so there you go I can change my icon completely right just using my right menu and that's it for this video we saw how powerful components are within Figma we use the three type of properties we use boolean text and um, instant swap and also we create two type of variants hierarchy and state hopefully this was helpful for you and if it was please like the video and subscribe to my channel it really helps for the youtube algorithm thank you and see you on my next video bye bye